Hi, I'm Steffi Solomon, your VIP TC coach here with New Patient Group. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, podcast, check out our Instagram and Facebook. All right, today we're going to be talking about listening and not just listening to respond, but listening to understand. So in the exam room, sometimes I know as a TC, we can get carried away being automated and making sure that we're doing our whole checklist. But at the end of the day, the better listener that you can be, the better the outcome of your exam is going to be as far as the whole experience. So really hone in on that, you know, what the patient comes in with their chief concern and just the, the environment that you're creating for them. Like I like to say, you know, we're not just selling Invisalign or braces, we're selling an experience. So the more you can educate them and really understand why they're coming into your office, the better TC you're going to be. Whether, you know, that's their crowding that's bothering them, their open bite, whatever, you know, you discover in your exam, your whole goal is to really just educate them to be proactive rather than being reactive, which will also help convert your exams and to help lead you into same day starts. So what does listening look like? For instance, if mom's like, you know, Aiden is really awesome at soccer and we actually just got back from Baskin and Robbins, his favorite ice cream is chocolate chip, all these little details, sometimes we may overlook them because we just think it's a normal conversation. But the more attention you can pay to that and really give that customized and personalized experience, the better it's going to be, especially when charting because you're really creating a story. So now you know that Aiden loves chocolate chip ice cream, you know that he plays soccer. It's all part of that experience in your exam. So really try to pay attention listening uh, at what the parents and what the children are telling you in your exam because at the end they're really creating the story for you and it's your job to just kind of help them become the author of it. Okay and listening sounds like clinically let's say you know mom's really worried about Aiden's two front teeth because he's so active in soccer it's more so she's worried about an emergency situation because they're protruded so far forward she wants to know what that's why she's here what can we do or doctor do to be able to fix that not just for aesthetic reasons so Aiden has a handsome bite but so that way it's functional you know and he's not going to be having injuries you want to help prevent that especially as an active child. Another clinical thing like you may you know already assess as a treatment coordinator because you've seen so many cases that he has an open bite and then she discloses that Aiden when he gets really stressed out especially now you know in a pandemic and all this craziness that he has really gone to sucking his thumb again. He stopped it a while back and then he picks it back up. That's just another habit that you can really you know track and be aware of and to hopefully help break him of that or help figure out a reward system to really you know encourage encourage him that thumb sucking isn't good and like the results that are going to happen if he continues on that route. Ultimately, listening is just such a huge key to be able to deliver a five-star experience because that is what puts everything all wrapped up in the beautiful package that you were able to assess why they were coming into your practice. You were able to execute a solution to it and really educate them. And then it makes them want to be a part of your family and your practice and to start right away.